From Cancun to the tropics, how long does it take white sharks to travel from Canada to Florida? Ernst and Ripple, two sub-adult white sharks recently tagged off Nova Scotia, have already made their way down to the Florida Keys and beyond. Both these sharks were tagged about seven weeks ago by the Tancook Islands Marine Field Station in collaboration with Osearch. Let's start with Ernst. Ernst is a 12-foot female, and in just 46 days, she's traveled more than 2,400 miles during her southern migration from Atlantic Canada. Her most recent ping was in the Gulf of Mexico and about 139 miles southwest of Naples, Florida. And then there's Ripple. Ripple's an 11 and a half foot male. And in just 50 days, Ripple's journeyed more than 2,500 miles along the U.S. coast and down to Florida. His last location was in a similar area, about 134 miles west of Naples. Both Ernst and Ripple cruised through the Straits of Florida in the last week or so. And this area functions like a highway for sharks and other migratory marine animals that are connecting between the broader Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico. But if we take a closer look at where these two sharks are right now, we can see another thing they have in common. They're both within the area known as Pulley Ridge. And after several years of tagging white sharks in the Northwest Atlantic, we know Pulley Ridge is kind of a hotspot for white sharks during their overwintering period. But what might be drawing white sharks to this particular area? Well, the habitat conditions, such as the currents and the bottom type, help make this area an area of high productivity and biodiversity. In other words, there's a lot of life in this area. So it's possible that white sharks are preying upon large fish species like tunas, greater amberjacks, snapper, grouper species, as well as dolphins and likely other shark species. So it'll be interesting to see if Ernst and Ripple stay in the Pulley Ridge area or maybe move into the northeastern Gulf where we've seen a number of white sharks move during the colder months. But keep an eye on the Osearch Global Shark Tracker to get the answers.